Hey guys, this is Jessie. I saw this online and I thought it was so cool. I needed to make a video tutorial to show you guys how amazing it is. Um, it's a simple way to find the product of two two digit, two digit or three digit numbers. So let's say we have 14 times 21. Okay, um, we're gonna essentially draw lines corresponding to each of these numbers. So the first um, thing we'll do is we'll draw one line going um, from left to right because and that corresponds with this one. Second thing we're going to do is draw four lines one, two, three, four corresponding to this four. Then when we're uh, looking at the second number um, we'll go from um, kind of in this direction so we need to draw two lines one, two, and then we'll draw one line for the end one. Okay, so you see this diamond shape here? What we are going to do is count up the intersections uh, at the different points. So we'll look at what is over, uh, how many intersections are over here, and we're going to take a look at how many intersections are over here, and then we'll look at how many intersections are down the middle. So one, two, we've got two. Um, over here we've got one, two, three, four, there's four intersections there, and then down the middle we've got, there's one intersection, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine down here, and that should be our product of this number. 14 times 21 is apparently 294. So let's just, let's check that out real quick. Double check. 14 times 21, 294. So that blew my mind, and I'm gonna show you one more. Um, it works on even larger numbers. Um, I'm gonna show you one uh, that is a little bit more complicated, but it still um, it still works. I When I saw this, it blew my mind. Um, so like I said, I'm, I'm really excited. I hope you are too. Let's say we've got 25 times 37. There's gonna be a lot more, not a lot more lines. So first, we'll start again this way. One, two, and then we're gonna go this way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're gonna go for our second number. We are gonna start at the bottom with three. One, two, three, and then seven, yikes. One, let's see if I can do this all neatly, two, three, four, oops, here we go, five, <laughs> six, and seven. You guys be patient with me. Okay, so again, we're going to look at the corners, and then we'll count up the ones in the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is six over here. All right, what about these guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five. There's thirty-five in this section. And then all the way down the middle, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, again, that would be 14 over here, uh, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay, so we've got 29 down here. Now, um, you always keep the, um, the number in the ones place. Um, so let's, we'll start on this side. So the five stays, but this three we've got to carry. So let's carry the three, bam, over to this nine. All right, three and nine would be 12, so this new would be down here would be um, two, and carry one up here, so that would be three. Now this, this three, right, this three that's right here, needs to be carried up to the six, um, and so that would make this nine. So I believe the product would be 925. Y'all see that? Nine, two, five. All right, we're checking the old calculator. We've got uh, 25 times 37. 925. You're welcome. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Bye.